Welcome to Glasgow, Scotland. In this Glasgow travel guide, I'll be showing the top attractions such as the Goma, Riverside attractions, and lots more. We find some amazing food, there'll be great discounts. So hit the subscribe button and let's go. I travelled from Edinburgh to Glasgow, which took about 50 minutes on the train and cost £6.60 for an adult. Alternatively, you can travel from London, Euston, which takes about five and a half hours to Glasgow. And if you get a rail card, you'll get a third of selected train fares. You can also fly into Glasgow and to get into the centre of town, you can take the express bus or a taxi. Taxis take about 20 minutes and cost about £25. And once you're in uh, Glasgow, it's got a really good transport system. You've got buses and they've got a metro line as well. Um, you can also take a taxi, Uber's readily available. Driving around the city is easy, but trying to find parking can be a bit more tricky. They also have a hop, hop on, hop off city sightseeing bus, uh, which is quite good if you want to see all the sights in one go. To start off the day, I've come to Morning Glory, 5 March, for some breakfast, brunch, and the decor is really cool, very hipster. Um, I've gone from the Shack Sheep, which was really tasty, a uh, good way to start the day. And it's not too far from the Royal Botanical Garden, so if you're nearby, it's a great place to come. 5 March was delicious. I'm stuffed, so I'm going to walk it off and head to the riverside which has three attractions conveniently located together. You have the Clydesdale Distillery, the Riverside Museum and the Science Centre. My favourite area is the human body section. It's only open weekends now from 10am to 5pm and all visitors are now required to pre-book their visit in advance. You must also book your car parking and a table for lunch at their cafe too. In addition to the museum there is also an IMAX theatre, planetarium and Glasgow Tower which is only open seasonally and it's unfortunately closed for time I'm um, visiting today. The planetarium and Glasgow Tower can be visited independently of the museum too. without trying some scotch whisky. I've come to the Clydesdale Distillery which is a single malt scotch whisky distillery. They have a cafe and gift shop and are currently open Wednesday to Sunday from 11am to 5pm. You can take a tour which was fantastic. We can learn about the history of whisky in Glasgow, the family history of the owners and it shows the whisky making process. It takes about an hour and costs £15 for adults. The best part is you get to do some whisky tasting at the end of the tour and you can book this and other tours in Glasgow through Get Your Guide. Museum is Glasgow's transport museum and it has over 3,000 objects on display from locomotives, trams, prams, skateboards and much more. There are interactive displays and you can even hop on board buses, trains to get a feel of what the old public transport was like. I really like the old replica street and you can enter the shops. Entry is free and it's open Monday to Thursdays and Saturdays from 10am to 5pm and Fridays and Sundays from 11 to 5pm. 
Glasgow Cathedral is found on the east part of town and the building itself is beautiful. It's this Gothic architecture which is commonly found in Scotland. And if you cross the footbridge, uh, you get to the necropolis which is a large hillside burial ground which you can climb up and you've got some nice views. Both are free to enter but it's best to book the cathedral if you want to guarantee your entry. For a great lunch you have to check out Ox and Finch and it's only about a 15 minute walk from the riverside so if you're in that area I'll definitely come here. It is small plates with different flavours more around the world, um, Mediterranean, Indian, Middle Eastern. My favourite was the burrata because it came with Middle Eastern flavour which was really unusual and I really liked the cod cheeks with chorizo which had was yeah fantastic flavours as well. Um, definitely would need to book in advance because it's really busy and now I'm heading to Goma. The Gallery of Modern Art or Goma is a collection of 20th century local and international art. There's a lot of abstract pieces and the building itself is absolutely beautiful. It's not huge so you won't need that long there. It's over four floors uh, but there is a lift if you need it. Entry is free and it's conveniently located in the centre of town. It's open Monday to Thursdays and Saturdays from 10am to 5pm and Fridays and Sundays from 11am to 5pm. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me. Scotland's favourite pint, Well Park Brewery in Glasgow was founded in 1740 where you can take a tour and learn about the history, brewing process and of course taste the beer. The heritage site and soul room is a fun place to look around before or after the tour and lots of memorabilia on display. It's open Wednesday to Sunday 12pm to 8pm. Guided tours are available daily, best to book in advance if you have a preferred time. The heritage site and bar are free to visit. The Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum holds one of the largest collections of art and objects in Scotland. There are over 20 themed galleries displaying everything from a Spitfire plane to medieval armour to impressionist paintings. This is one of the largest and best free museums in Scotland and one you can easily spend a couple of hours exploring the many galleries. You don't have to book in advance and the main collection is free to visit with admission charges or special exhibitions. There's also a cafe and gift shop on site. Opening times are Monday to Thursdays and Saturdays are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Friday and Sundays it's 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me, do you wanna? in Glasgow's West End. This lively cobble street is full of restaurants and bars and later I'm going for dinner at Ubiquitous Chip. I'm really 
surprised to find that Glasgow has fantastic street art. The murals can be found in and around the city centre and you can find them by following the city centre mural trail or you can discover them by just walking around the city centre itself. Next up it's the Lighthouse which is Scotland's centre for design and architecture. It's a visitor centre but also there are exhibitions and you can climb up the 130 stairs to get a great view of Glasgow. Alternatively there is a viewing platform on the 6th floor if you don't want to climb up the stairs. Entry is free and it's open Tuesday to Sunday 11am to 5pm. at Point A Hotel in Glasgow which is location wise is only about a five minute walk from the centre of town um, which was really perfect. The rooms themselves are quite small, quite cosy, there isn't much storage or shelf space. Um, there's no frills in this hotel so it's, you only get a towel and soap, there's no extra toiletries and there's no tea or coffee making facilities in the rooms themselves but you can go downstairs to reception where you can uh, buy some tea or coffee if you want and the breakfast here is quite good, you do need to pay extra for it. Um, it's also quite high tech as well, you've got some really weird lights. It costs £95 for a twin room, which I think is quite expensive for what it is, but I did stay here on the weekend, so rates are a bit higher. But I think if I was to come back to Glasgow, I'd probably stay somewhere else and try and find something cheaper. <laughs> 